Hello everyone, and welcome to my next Let's Play video series. Aladdin. After watching over my Jungle Book Let's Play, I realized the sound was freaking overpowering my mic. So I reduced it. Uh, let's make sure I actually have this thing. No, no, no. Oh uh, yeah, jump. No, I want sword to be. Damn it. Stupid thing. That's better. Now then, start. Yeah, basically this tells you every little icon thing. And you go. You go is to say Princess Jasmine. Simple enough. But anyway. In Agrabah, a far away land of wind and sand, a young street lad named Aladdin must steal to survive. Meanwhile, Jafar, the Sultan's advisor, plots to take over the kingdom by stealing a magic lamp from the Perilous Cave of Wonders. Our story begins on a dark night. Jafar, haven't you found him yet? How much longer do I gotta keep running on this thing? Quiet, Iago. I must know who can enter the Cave of Wonders. Ah, a young thief. We must extend him an invitation to the palace. So, Agabra Market. Yay. This is why I like this one over the SNES version. Could you get a sword? Not just apples to throw. Yay! Wee! Ah, uh, pots being thrown at me. Don't up, damn it! Don't really need to collect the apples. I mean. All they're used for basically is throwing. Oh no, pots. Chop women's hands off. Don't throw that way. That's better. Don't really need to throw apples, but why not? Stop running at me. If you do this right... Eh, I can't seem to do it right. Anyway, if you do it right, his pants would fall off. Which is... odd. But oh well. Ow. Yay, I'm about dead. So step back. Don't let those pots hit me. Ow, 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 ow. This is what happens when you try being actually skillful. Up the rope. Yay, Apple Spam. Jump, jump, jump. Yay, more Apple Spam. Oh wait, where's my safe state? Just in case. 
Ow, my face. Yeah, still didn't do it right. Ah, well. Ah, uh, well. Well, guards down. Let's look at those gems. Why you get those gems are for practically useless stuff. Oh, I failed. I are fail. And now I can't. Well, now I'm there. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I have to collect all those things over again. Screw it. Reload. That's better. Makes me feel less of a failure. Come on, throw. That's better. Up. Get those. Ah, oh, I'm almost dead again. How oh, nice. Yeah, at least I got those. Save state. Yeah, I used to love all that sword fighting like that. You know, I didn't really have to do it. Oh, come on. I can get that. Yay, we got the bonus level thingy. Now here's this merchant guy who buys the gems. You can get a wish for ten. I don't exactly know what the frick the wish is for. But we bought. It's better to just buy those lives, but oh well. May the wish at the bonus level thing. The genie thing, yeah. But anyway, level complete. And basically, yeah. life. Yeah. Life. Yeah. Another life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is going good. And lose. But we got seven lives. So nice. Oh, and a booze level. This should be fun. A boo and agbra. Basically, a boo basically is just simple dodge. I mean, you have a sword, but you don't really use it. You just run. Dodging pots falling. Game gets ridiculous at points. I mean, can you dodge all this? No, apparently not. I can't. Eh, yeah, made decent progress. Didn't get to the life though, but oh well. Having escaped from the guards, Aladdin is approached by an ancient beggar. There's a cave, boy. A cave of wonders, filled with enough treasure to make all your dreams come true. To find it, you must find the two halves of a magic scarab. The first half is lost in the desert. Now, originally in the movie, you didn't have to find those scarab pieces. Jafar found them by his ownness. All you had to do was just go to the cave. Don't can't uh, safe state jump. I don't think jumping works in this game, exactly. Yes, and jumping on a cat. I like how it has that nice hat. That's nice. Eh, 
And that looks sort of like Mickey Mouse thing. Eh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, continuing. There are a lot of references that are oh, stupid lag. I don't even know why it's lagging. Stop it. Ow. And look, there's a stop sign in the desert. So we go over here, can't go up that way. So I have to jump up on these trees. Which are a tad slippery. Grab this. Shoot me across. Drop down. Normally I hate deserts, but I like this one. The music and everything is nice and relaxing. So we go up here. There's a piece of the magic scarab. So up. Ow. Stop throwing those things, damn it. And over here's Iago, which you hit, and his feathers just pop off, like that. Ow, I felt dead. Yeah, <laughs> So you go up here, touch the scare up, and it runs away. But yeah. I think Alphas are really useful for his boss fights. Which there are later on. And flies off again. And his pants fell down. And again. Excessive pants dropping. Creepy, yay. And that's why I save state. I forget, can I actually jump on enemies? Well, Boo can, apparently. Die, Snake. Yeah, jump on him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I missed it, I guess. Well, there is actually one right here, if you noticed. Above my head, there is Goofy, apparently, on the statue. But yeah. Secret references. Yay. Level complete. Yay. Bonus time. Yay. Yay. Lose. Fail. Well done, Street Rat. The second half of the scale up is an Agba in the possession of a clever thief. So we go back to Agabra. Find the flutes. I will work on that. But first, let's leave off here for now. Hope y'all enjoying so far. Thank y'all and have a nice day.